Imagine a robot that senses its own battery draining, walks over to a charging station, removes the depleted battery from its back, installs a fresh one, and gets back to work, all without a human lifting a finger. That's exactly what UB Tech's Walker S2 does. This next-generation humanoid robot from China isn't just another machine on the assembly line. It's a fully autonomous system, capable of managing its own energy 24-7. Walker S2 is designed for industrial environments like factories and logistics hubs, where downtime is expensive and constant uptime is key. The big breakthrough? A fully autonomous battery swapping system. Unlike traditional robots that stop to recharge or need a human to replace their power supply, Walker S2 can keep running by handling it all itself. It's equipped with a dual battery system. One battery powers the robot, while the other slot remains open for hop swapping. When the active battery runs low, the robot walks itself to a swap station, uses its robotic arms to remove the depleted battery, slots it into the charging dock, grabs a fresh one, and gets back to work. The whole process takes under three minutes. That means this robot doesn't need to stop for hours to recharge. It manages its own uptime with minimal interruption, allowing continuous operation. In industries where seconds count, this is a major leap forward. But it's not just about swapping batteries. It's about knowing when and why to do it. Walker S2 features dynamic energy management, constantly monitoring its battery level, workload and task priority. If it's in the middle of a low priority task and senses its battery getting low, it'll take the opportunity to recharge. If it's mid critical job, it will push through or schedule a better time. This self optimization ensures the robot doesn't disrupt key operations. The system even tracks the health of each battery, detecting wear and performance degradation over time. This proactive monitoring alerts technicians to service or replace batteries before they fail, improving reliability across the board. On top of that, the entire system connects to the cloud, allowing real-time fleet management. Multiple Walker S2 units can coordinate energy use, avoid charging station bottlenecks, and ensure seamless operation across an entire factory floor. On the technical side, Walker S2 runs on dual 48-volt lithium-ion batteries that can be hot-swapped without shutting down the system. Its frame stands 162 centimeters tall and weighs 43 kilograms, making it maneuverable for human-scale environments. With around four hours of operational time when standing and about two hours when walking, its quick-swap capability becomes essential. Charging a battery takes 90 minutes, but with the swap system in place, that charge happens offline while the robot continues its tasks. Of course, there are still limitations. Walker S2 needs a dedicated swap station infrastructure to operate efficiently, and it's not yet suitable for household environments or outdoor terrain. Its current battery life is optimized for short to medium tasks, meaning longer range work still requires planning. Still, this marks a major step forward in robotics. What used to be a key weakness in robot systems, energy management, has now become autonomous and intelligent. This isn't just a technical upgrade, it's a shift in how machines operate. No longer dependent on human interventions and maintenance, robots like Walker S2 are moving toward complete self-management. Videos of the Walker S2 in action show the robot swapping batteries with precision, calm, and zero outside input. It doesn't just function, it adapts and thinks ahead. And that opens the door to something bigger. Truly autonomous, scalable robotic workforces that don't need brakes, oversight, or reminders to keep going. So here's the big question. If robots can now manage their own power, what's next? Are we looking at the first wave of machines that not only work for us, but also take care of themselves? With Walker S2 leading the way, that future may be closer than we think.